I'm Mediocrity4, and this is my review for Ruby Volume 7 Episode 8. If you haven't seen the episode yet, you may want to before watching this review. I seriously considered not doing a review this week. It's the holidays, I'm throwing this together on Sunday and Monday so that it'll go public on Tuesday per usual, which will be Christmas Eve and I'll be with my family. But more importantly, this episode just doesn't seem finished. Every other episode of this volume, and most episodes across the series, even the bad ones, ended in spots that made sense to end on. But nothing really happens in this episode. If this volume was a poker game between Ironwood, Team Ruby, Jacques, Watts, and Robin, then this is the round where everyone mumbles and checks. Stakes aren't raised, nobody plays their cards, nobody folds, nobody tries bluffing, just a round of everything learning nothing. Robin learns that Ironwood has hasn't trusted the council with the details of his Amity project either, and she says nothing about what she's learned. Jacques makes numerous references to Ironwood's incompetence, but it doesn't add up because he never directly accuses Ironwood of anything. Is there concern of pity because of something Ironwood did, or is it because they know the hacker from Volume 3 is still out there pulling strings? And everything about Willow, Whitley, and Winter is stuff we could have inferred from as early as Volume 2 and at the latest Volume 4. Nothing happened happens with Ren and Nora's development as they spend the episode pulling a Laurel and Hardy routine, even the big cliffhanger moment rings hollow. Oh, Weiss has footage of Watts, but she still doesn't know who it is nor does that change anything because she was already suspecting that whoever hacked into the network before is both working for Salem and helping Jacques. That's the big cliffhanger they want to leave us on for the next two weeks? That's freaking weak. I imagine I will feel better about this episode when those cards start getting laid on the table, but for right now, finally seeing Willow and seeing that she's exactly what we've been expecting since Volume 4 just isn't enough for me to call this anything more than a waste of time. I'm Mediocrity4, Merry Christmas, and thanks for watching.